Hello everyone, I am Dr. Hemlata from the Department of Dermatology, Venerology and Leprosy, Narayana Medical College and Hospital. World Leprosy Day is observed every year on the last Sunday of January. In India, we celebrate it on January 30th to mark the anniversary of Mahatma Gandhiji's death as he showed great compassion towards leprosy patients. World Leprosy Day gives us an opportunity to celebrate the people who have experienced leprosy, to raise awareness about the disease and call for an end to leprosy related stigma and discrimination. Every year WHO comes with a theme for World Leprosy Day to eliminate leprosy. This year the theme for World Leprosy Day is Act Now End Leprosy which has three key messages. It says that elimination is possible. We have all the tools to eliminate leprosy. Act Now which means that we have to take leprosy elimination a priority and we have to reach the unreached. So what is leprosy? In olden days, leprosy was considered as a curse and as the disease was running in the families, it was also considered as a hereditary disease and the affected patients were isolated and buried alive. All those are myths and all of it is a chapter bygone. 1873 is a landmark in the history of leprosy because of the discovery of the leprosy as a bacterial infection and the causative organism Mycobacterium leprae by the great scientist G. A. Hansen after which the diagnosis became easy and the treatment also has evolved from Dapson monotherapy to multidrug therapy which has resulted in reduced transmission of the disease and also the new cases. How is leprosy different from other infectious diseases? Even after the discovery of the cause and the treatment for leprosy, every year about 1,40,000 cases are reported in the world. This high case detection rate is due to delayed diagnosis which is resulting in increased transmission of the disease. Leprosy is also associated with stigma because the untreated patients and the end stage of leprosy patients will have deformities because of which the patients are getting feared from getting uh, discriminated from the society. What is Mycobacterium leprae? It is a slow growing gram positive organism. The incubation period of the disease takes place from few months to 20 years on an average to 5 to 7 years. It has predilection for cooler areas of the body like skin and peripheral nerves as the growth of the organism is more in cooler temperatures. What are the routes of transmission of the disease? Most common route is respiratory route via droplets and the discharge from the nasal ulcers, ulcers over the skin and feet and the skin injuries. All these will have millions of bacilli but only 3% of them are live bacilli. All exposed persons don't get the disease because it depends upon the immunity. So what are the risk groups? Malnourished groups as they have decreased immunity, poor socio-economic status groups because they have overcrowding, lack of proper personal hygiene, lack of education and patients on organ transplant because they are on immunosuppressants and HIV people. So after entering the body from the respiratory tract, the organism goes to the circulation. From there it goes to the skin and the peripheral nerves triggering the host immune response and depending upon the host immune response we will have clinical manifestations if the patient is having very good immunity then the disease will be limited that is called as tuberculosis spectrum of the disease when that immunity is very less then the patient will have uh, more clinical features that is called as lepromatous spectrum of the disease a leprosy patient can have the following three presentations. In patients without reaction, the lesions will be of gradual onset. So there can be hypopigmented, hypoanesthetic or anesthetic macules or patches. There can be erythematous blocks or multiple nodules with or without nerve en enlargement. In some patients, there can be only nerve enlargement without skin lesions. Such cases are called as pure neuritic cases. In patients with reaction, there will be exacerbation of the existing skin lesions with tingling sensation over the hands and feet and there can be neuritis also. In patients of type 2 reaction, there can be sudden eruption of erythematous nodules all over the body associated with fever and arthralgia. In patients with deformities, there will be claw hand which is the most common or there can be ulcers or blisters over the fingertips and the toe tips. These deformities occur if the patients are not treated in the earlier stages. For diagnosis, we go for slit skin smear where we can demonstrate the mycobacterium leprae. We can also do skin biopsy. Sometimes we go for nerve biopsy and also serological tests. For the sake of for treatment, we classify the cases as posibacillary or multibacillary depending upon the number of skin lesions and nerve involvement. We give multidrug therapy with monthly dose of rifampicin and daily dose 
sources of clofazamine and dapsone for 6 months in cases of posibacillary and for 12 months in cases of multibacillary. We have to remember that if the treatment is taken properly for 12 months, we can reduce the transmission of the disease so that new cases will be reduced and the patient can safely go to the uh, job and he can do his job and the woman can safely conceive. If the patient presents to us with reaction, then apart from multidrug therapy, we give steroids because the patient will have neuritis. And timely treatment of this neuritis is very much important because it can prevent nerve damage and also the deformities occurring with it. If the patient presents to us directly with deformities, then we go for physiotherapy, splints and reconstructive surgeries. So leprosy is a highly communicable disease and the end stages result in deformities. Our main goal should be to reduce the transmission of the disease and in turn the new cases, prevention of deformities and elimination of stigma and discrimination associated with the disease. For this we need a teamwork consisting of the patient. From the patient side he should properly take the treatment and that is called as treatment adherence and he should properly use protective gloves and footwear because he will have reduced sensations over the hands and feet and proper treatment when he is having a reaction that is also very much important to reduce the nerve damage he should also have positive mental attitude toward the disease from the family it should give proper support to the patient suffering from the disease from the side of the clinician not only proper Proper clinical diagnosis and treatment is important we should also focus on the history that is if the patient is having the disease from long duration that is from the childhood then we have to think of some active transmission of the disease in the community and also if the patient is having long duration disease of multibacillary type then there is an indication that there is visceral involvement also and we should take proper address of the patient in the history. It is important because we can do leprosy surveillance in that area to know the transmission of the disease. And from the side of the government, it should extend its focus even to the health education. With all the successful efforts of the members in the team, we can someday live in the leprosy-free world. Thank you.